I will never quit and I will never blame someone else for my own shortcomings. I want to be remembered as a good man who took control of his own life and let nothing stop him from pursuing and sometimes achieving his goals. I started playing football when I was eight and I've always been extremely good at it. In college, I started for four years. I was two-time all-conference. Watch as the play of the season unfolds. Dalella to the end zone. It's tipped and picked off by Dominic Reyes. And that seals the game for the Seawolves. After football was over, I decided to go out for the NFL draft. And unfortunately, man, I didn't get a shot. I didn't even get a tryout or anything. I was in a pretty dark place that brought on depression. I just felt like, like worthless. To get out my frustration, I started training uh, MMA. Literally, I didn't know how to throw a punch properly. And I just took all that dedication and devotion I learned from football and just applied it to MMA. Like, I, I literally didn't stop. MMA saved my life. Quick jab from Dominic. And a couple shots dropped Brett Don Gudino. Reyes all over him, pouring it on early. Such a brother, great athlete, long. So, there it is. Oh, great stop. Great stop. Oh, oh big stop. Left. Dominic Reyes all over him. That is it. it. Over. That is it. Dominic wow. the Devastator Reyes in wow. devastating fashion. Wow. How did this deal with LFA come together, one of the premier organizations, especially if you're looking to go to the UFC? Um, it came together by just winning, man. I'm on a five-fight win streak, finishing, and I finish people, so everybody wants to see an exciting he light heavyweight fight, so that's what I'm trying to bring to the table. So, I mean, you know, the magnitude of this fight is, is pretty big, which is awesome, and let's talk about the matchup. Taking on Jordan Powell, he's 8-6. and six. How do you feel like you match up against him? I feel like I match up really well against him. Uh, should be a fun fight. Go out there and uh, impose my will and have fun. Uh, he's a tough guy, which is which is always fun to have a guy that's, who's down. He seems like a good down opponent. And, uh, you know, just somebody that's going to push me to that next level. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Mike Beltran gets us underway. Nice roundhouse kick to the ribs there from Reyes. Then goes to the inside thigh. Jordan Powell catches that roundhouse kick. Nice little lead of crossing elbow from Dominic Reyes. Three quick hands. Oh, man. Oh, the big kibosh! The big kibosh! The big kibosh! Powell comes out of it. Watch him shake his head. No, no, you didn't get me. Boop! And lean right into it. Dominic, the devastator! for guys that are in your similar situation where you're, you're trying to create these moments to where you get the attention of uh, the UFCs and, and the Bellators of the world, obviously. I mean, do you kind of feel like in a way that this, you know, because it's become a viral video, that this may kind of fast track you uh, to getting an offer? Um, Yeah, I mean, I feel like it has. I feel like kind of either way, it's inev it was going to be inevitable, you know. That call is going to come. I'm only getting better. California light heavyweight prospect Dominic Reyes made headlines for a head kick knockout that went viral back on June 2nd. And just days later, the news got even better when the Devastator got the call 
to make his UFC debut. All right, so here he is, the, the undefeated Dominic Reyes, a pro dating to 2014, making his UFC debut here tonight. Played college football at Stony Brook University, started training in MMA shortly thereafter, May of 2013. And it didn't take him long to register on the radar of mixed martial arts fans around the world. You go here round one, and if you are looking for a finish, you got a good candidate here. Both of these guys, proven finishers in their mixed martial arts careers. The advantage in terms of experience for Joaquin Christians. And again, Reyes presses forward. This has been a crazy month for you, as many of our fans know. 23 days ago, you're on the outside of the UFC looking in. Head kick knockout gets you here. What was it like making this walk here tonight and ultimately stepping into the big show for the first time? Well, it's everything I ever dreamed of, man. Uh, I, I honestly feel like I belong here. And now I'm home, baby. I'm home. So a lot of people have their eye on Dominic Reyes. He is one of the bigger betting favorites on this fight card tonight against Jeremy Kim. Big night tonight on pay-per-view, UFC 218. There's Jeremy Kimball. Spent a couple weeks in Thailand, a Tiger Muay Thai, and gave his game a touch more violent. So we'll see how the extent to which that pays dividends tonight against Reyes. You know, as you said, when you look at his physique, he doesn't really look like him. Look at this. This is the thing about this kid. He's super aggressive. And he works out with Joe Stevenson, who's the master of the game. 90 seconds gone by here, round one race, so we can reverse the middle of the first. Oh, beautiful takedown. Oh, yeah. So we're on that road, and we're getting ground and pound going here. Yeah, uh, I heard Steve was going to do something about leg lock. Go to a leg lock. He's got the back now, down on the side where it's connected. It makes it very difficult to hold it there. Let's have a hand, Robin! Did he bite off more than he can chew and calling out Vince St. Preux? Paul is wearing gray. St. Preux is in what? Gray said, I gotta use my jab against St. Preux. Right off the bat, just get straight to kicking. Most of this camp was rooted in shoring up his defense. Oh, Vince looking for the takedown. Interesting. Coming in, three minutes, 39 oh. seconds. Oh! Oh! oh. Big left hand by Ray. Um, you're facing uh, Dominic Reyes, who's quite a young, eager guy, coming uh, in undefeated. Uh, what do you think about him? He's a definitely a tough guy. He's, uh, he's undefeated, like, as you said. Uh, he has a lot of hype behind him, so that's, that's something good that I want to use against him, you know. It's always good to fight somebody with a lot of hypes because you can stop the hype train and then you, 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 you get all the, all the looks uh, on you. Do you have any expectations about how the fight will go? Uh, I don't. I just know it's it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's all I know. Two oh six for Dominic Reyes. 
He had knee surgery, but he's been training back in Switzerland for this match with Reyes. And there he is touching his wrist. And for those people that don't know, that's referring to his nickname, No Time, no meaning time. I'm going to knock you out in no time. And that's what he did when he came to the UFC. Super impressive. Our referee in charge, Leon Roberts. Leon Roberts, the referee for this light heavyweight contest. Poised for a maximum three five-minute rounds of action. So keep this in mind, in 2018, 66% of 205 round up. fights ended in a KO, the most in any division. hooks over the top and just working you in tight especially against an opponent like Reyes where he's going to have trouble on the outside and that's why you're swimming with the Sharks and it's going to be the movement a little more of Dominic Reyes as he is you know he is forcing Reyes to use a lot of lateral movement he could not, I mean we do hear things unusual all the time we said I swear sometimes you leave a fight with more bruises on yeah. training if you train it I knew them if I don't have to I always remember Joe Danny Stevenson dragging people along the fence when he was taking them down intentionally when he heard cheese great to knew what to do you saw it start shimmying start shaking just to grind those fingers up against the fence That was a great performance. For the winner by split decision, Dominic, the Davis Depay I'm coming for you, John. I'm coming for you. Chris Weidman moved up to 205 pounds. Now, he's a former world champion. He, without question, is the biggest name at 205 pounds that isn't John Jones, for sure. So for him to move up to look to get a fresh coat of paint, try to make a comeback and get back to a title, and for him to declare that to the world and to anybody that will listen, oh, and by the way, he's willing to step in there with the undefeated top-ranked Dominic Reyes. Hey, Weidman's within his lanes. The main event, Chris Weidman versus Dominic Reyes. What are you expecting out of that one? We have Reyes, who's on the rise, and Weidman, who's sort of trying to make a resurgence. Couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, that is the story of that fight. Um, you know, Weidman has been around forever. If you think about, you know, all the things he's accomplished, including the, the two wins over Anderson Silva. Um, you know, when Anderson Silva looked unbeatable, uh, you know, his reign at the top, and now Weidman is trying to stay there, and Reyes is trying to come up. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You're gonna keep it clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. The intensity of a UFC main event. Bruce, that's a fact. Right, he didn't try. He's just a big dude. All right, this white block brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. The Southpaw Reyes is in black. Chris Weidman has had a lot of success uh, against Southpaws. He's in white. That was a nice level change by Weidman. Beautiful double. But watch Chris look at the back trip, take it down. Bad positions and try. Oh! Holy knockout for Reyes! Backstep right hand. And that's what we said in the build up to this is Reyes can fight moving backwards and forward, and he counters well. Oh! Big oh! punch! Dominic Reyes to Reyes got his first knockout. Makes it look easy. Wow! Wow! Hey, John. I don't want any party favors, man. I want that bell, baby. Let's go. There it is. Dominic Reyes, folks. I don't think, I'm guessing it was a Honda Ketto. And then there's a Toyota Camry. 
ابن کے A world-renowned mixed martial arts fighter faced an Albuquerque judge today. John Bones Jones is suspected of running from a crash where a pregnant woman suffered a broken arm. A superstar fighter facing a felony charge accused of leaving the scene of an accident, and it's not clear what that could mean for the future of Jones' career. Where were you heading from when the crash happened? Is this guy going to... Is this guy going to mess this up again by doing steroids or snorting cocaine or sandblasting prostitutes? What's this guy going to do? What's this guy going to do to mess this up this time? Prostitutes. Prostitutes. I beat you after a weekend of cocaine. fighter in the sport and the most dominant light heavyweight champion of all time introducing the 205 pound champion John Bones Jones you're a pawn in this game bro I've been talking about it for a long time like DC like all of them bro you're a pawn in this game say I'm a pawn you're a pawn in this game bro I'm gonna get you Dominic all right we'll see you know it You're a one-trick pony. I, I I don't know it actually. You're a one-trick you, pony. You think you know Bro, it. Bro, we saw your highlight reel. It was straight left. Straight left. Straight left. When I faced off with him, I I looked in his eyes and he was just a man. He's, he's just a man. Like He's, I saw his insecurities all over him. I, I saw, man, uh, <laughs> I can't even explain it, man. He's, I'm, I'm just not intimidated. I'm not intimidated at all. When you look at this fight, this is a very, very tough fight for John Jones. This guy's young, fast, heavy hands, head kicks, not to mention the fact that the, uh, the confidence that this guy has going into this fight. Dominic Reyes is for real, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Look at that. Digging 
those toes into the midsection down the stretch of the round and a nice offering there from Johnny Bones. Round one in the books. Good start for the challenger. I love what Jackson said on that when he said, Jones, right, commit to your Jones, shot. He's go. just pulling you up. That means commit and follow round two of a possible five. Nice left counter from Jones. Oh. Oh. That got raised his attention. But Jones doing well as a championship experience. Nice left hand. It's getting trickier, Jones. Oh, oh. both landed on that one. distance tonight boy th this one in the hands of the judges wow Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still! I thought I won one through three, but uh, it is what it is. I'll get better. I know I will. Uh, and this just proves that I'm the real deal. He looked great, in and out, kept moving. He was tagging him. You know, John's had no answer. John had no answer for him. I seen it at least three to two for sure. Dominic's only getting better. He's only going to get better. He's only getting. He gets better every day, and this ain't going to stop him. This ain't going to stop nothing. Reyes told us Thursday he had to fight the near perfect fight to get this done tonight, and. For my money, he fought the near-perfect fight, and it just wasn't quite Well, enough. he fought the near-perfect fight for three rounds. Uh, business has very much picked up at 205. All of a sudden, John Jones has options in the light heavyweight division. And not that long ago, like two weeks ago, we were talking about, all right, does he need to go up to heavyweight ASAP? Does he need to fight someone like Israel Adesanya ASAP? 
And I would say let's pump the brakes on all of that because he's got two very good options right now at 205 pounds. You got the pole himself, Jan Bachovic, with that huge win. He's won seven of his last eight. He's on a three-fight winning streak. Uh, just got a first-round KO against a very tough, durable, and a very talented opponent in Corey Anderson. And he had that great moment. So now you could sell it, right? You've got that great moment. You've got that great footage. But, you know, sometimes in this sport, uh, we, we tend to have very, very, very short-term memories. And uh, I think sometimes people forget that Dominic Reyes fought against John Jones nine days ago. And there are people out there who say that John won three to two. And there are others who say that Dominic won three to two. For the most part, it comes down to that third round. But when you have a fight like that, where it's that good and that close, and I know historically the UFC doesn't grant uh, rematches to a challenger if they lose a title fight. And despite the fact that Jan had that moment with John Jones cage side, I think a bigger fight for John right now is Dominic Reyes because it was such a hot topic, because so many people were talking about it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday after the fight. I feel like that's the way to go. Go with the rematch, the immediate rematch. 